Hi, this session is for anyone that's considering transferring to Grand Park High School for grade nine. Um, Grand Park High School is a fantastic school and I hope that you do consider coming here and that when you do, you love it here. Grand Park High School beliefs include creating a safe environment that encourages mutual respect, dignity and inclusion. The staff, students, parents, and guardians, and community work together and take leadership. Communication is the foundation for student success, and students learn best when they are engaged and contributing to their learning environment. Um, I'm Elena Weens, and I'm the grade nine team leader at Grand Park High School, but we have a incredible team of teachers that are here and um, invested in our students. Um, one of the things that you might be curious about is what the day in a life of a grade nine student might look like. We have a number of different classes, sports and clubs that run before school at lunch and after school. And if you're in the general program, your schedule will look something like this. First period, English or math. Second period, social studies and science. Third period, gym or an option for lunch. And then fourth period, math or English, depending on what you took in the morning. And then fifth period would be gym or your option course. If you're in the advanced program, it's a little bit different because uh, you'll be taking grade nine math and uh, grade nine science in the, first, um, in the first semester. But then in the second semester, you'll be moving on to grade 10 material. And so your schedule looks a little bit different but also very similar in that you'll have uh, two periods a day where you'll be doing gym or option courses with the general class. So here's the second semester where it shows um, that first period you're actually going to be taking math and grade 10 science every other day. So back and forth while you're taking social studies and English in the advanced program. Now, Grand Park High School offers a lot of different option courses. So depending on what your interests are, you can pursue robotics, you can uh, per, uh, pursue autos or power map, you can pursue fashion and design, or our performing arts um, program, which if you are considering the performing arts program here, there is another separate video that talks specifically about that program. We also have amazing club sports and uh, take students on trips as well. So you can see here the list of, of options of what's actually available here at Grand Park High School for grade nine students. There's also um, a, a great support team here, which includes the inclusion support department, uh, resource teachers, educational assistants, student services, guidance, there's a career intern here that helps you to find jobs or look at what kind of career you want in your future. We also have peer tutoring programs, support groups, and lunch and learns where we do things like learning about studying skills or test anxiety, that kind of thing. Um, I asked some, some of my students to talk about why they chose Grand Park and what their impression of Jar Grand Park was when they came to Grand Park for grade nine. And this is what they said, um, that Grand Park has a lot of stuff that other schools just don't have, including option courses, extracurricular clubs, sports, like our football team, um, the performing arts. We put on six plus shows a year, uh, student council events and initiatives like Afro Night, um, and there's academic opportunities like the AP program. It's also a grade seven to 12 school, which means that if you have a, a sibling that's in grade six this year, you and your sibling can switch over to Grand Park at the same time. And so, so your siblings can stay together. And that's something a number of our students have done. And we're so closely connected with the community. There's restaurants, parks, and business partners close by to us here at Grand Park High School that we integrate into some of our programs. So student voice, again, I asked my students, what were some of your first impressions 
when you first came to Grand Park. Uh, at first they said it seemed really big and confusing and there were so many hallways. But once you get to know it a little bit, you realize that there's really a separate um, area for the junior high students and a separate area for the high school students. And then there's different spaces for clubs and the different programs. Student services is right there in the main hall hallway and it's obvious and it's present. So you know that you can go there if you ever need anything. The classrooms are apparently nice and inviting and each student gets a locker. Now this year with COVID, we're not using the lockers, but, um, but normally each student gets their own locker. And student council is often um, really present, letting themselves be known. So they're, they're on Twitter, they're, they're on Instagram, they put on carnivals, that kind of thing. Now, the students wanted to give you some advice for your first few days here. They suggested that you should use the two weeks before school starts to go over your schedule, find the room numbers that you're going to be in, and meet your teachers, because most of the, your teachers are going to be setting up their classrooms and working to get the, the year prepped um, in those two weeks before school starts. So they recommend doing that. How do you stay organized and successful? That's the next question I asked my students. And they said, keep your notes organized. Use two binders with dividers, one for the morning classes and one for your afternoon classes. Keep a duotang or file folders that you can put things that you need to hand in um, into a duotang or a file folder. Um, the teachers use Google Classroom, which is a great way of keeping organized. So that's an, another tool to use. They recommended practicing time management. Actually schedule your time for a social life and schedule time to work on your schoolwork at home. Use a planner or agenda with reminders. And don't be afraid of tests or quizzes. If you've done your work, you'll be okay. And ask for help if you need it. Classmates, parents, and teachers, they all care about you and they want you to be successful. If you're taking the AP program, Make sure you commit extra time at home, stay focused during class, and use your lunch hour to access extra help from your teachers. And expect your grades to drop a little bit at first in grade nine, because it's a pretty tough transition to go from the regular program in grade eight into the advanced program in grade nine. I also asked them what the teachers are like. Now they said that teachers here at Grand Park have high expectations, but you can talk to any of them even if they're not your own teacher. They work together as a team. They're all involved in extracurricular activities and their class, classrooms are often open at lunch so you can come in for extra help. And all of the teachers have Google Classroom and you can contact them through Google Classroom anytime. Last but not least, I asked, um, what are the students like? Is it hard to fit in here at Grand Park? And they said that Grand Park had a really diverse population. It's welcoming. Most students like school here. They actually like coming to school here. They, um, they recommended like joining a club and that there's po usually posters up in the hallway saying what kind of clubs there are. The cafeteria is a great place to meet people in a normal year. Right now it's closed because of COVID. Um, but they said just introduce yourself to people and, and you'll, you'll meet all sorts of interesting people. Uh, student council is present, they, I mentioned that before, and um, so you can always be a part of student council if you want and you're interested and be a student leader and it's inclusive and fun and people listen to each other and there's lots of communication on things like on Twitter and Instagram. But the most important thing that my students said was that Grand Park High School gave me the opportunity to get to know myself. And I'll leave you with that. I hope that you choose Grand Park.